Sign up for Why Summer Sports and Aquatics today at whymaryland.org. Well, last weekend, our friends at Stevenson University hosted its Capital Athletic Conference rival Salisbury in the Men's Lacrosse Championship at the Caves Athletic Complex. And Stevenson was ranked number one going into the game against Salisbury. Number three, the Mustangs had beaten the Seagulls a week earlier on April the 16th. But one week later, it was the Seagulls who prevailed in the game, featuring four ties and a final score of 16-14. I attended the game, and Stevenson held a 12-8 lead at the half. But after that, a lot of easy goals, sloppy defense by um, Stevenson and Salisbury took command, outscored them in the second half, 8-2. Junior midfielder Tony Mendez led Salisbury in scoring with five goals and one assist, while Stevenson senior attackman Neil Barthelme had a game-high seven points, six goals, and one assist. To read the full story about the game, visit PressBoxOnline.com, and I would not be surprised at all if these two teams meet again in the Division III NCAA tournament. Uh, a few weeks ago, we had Charlotte Hederick on the show to talk about her event, Mud Chasers. Inside Press Box producer Dave Lashley went to Sparks to see what Mud Chasers was all about. And first of all, was it muddy? Very much so. <laughs> as soon as I pulled up to the event, uh, you know, I was trying to park my car. I uh, went to pull in, and uh, the guys are like, yeah, here, here There's you go. Some mud. But the guy, I mean, in the parking lot, the guys are like, hey, two feet of mud in there. So that was just the parking lot itself. You can that see was here, the parking lot itself. this uh, is the first event, um, the first obstacle, which, uh, you know, from what these guys were saying, the water was extremely cold. Right. Um, the whole event, you know, it, it's very difficult. It was, um, what did we say, three and a half miles. Three and a half miles. And uh, it was really set up in the middle of a field. Uh, like the middle of a cornfield or something like that. Um, so whenever they started out, they had to run, go through all these obstacles, but not only did they have to go through all the obstacles, but run down the hill, back up the hill, you know, all through this big field. And uh, I'll tell you, I was exhausted just following them with the camera. Again, you, now, did you do any running at all in this? Yeah, and I actually got stuck in the mud. This right here is mud heaven, what we're looking at right here. And... Um, just like what she's doing right there, that was me. And so it was very quick sandy without it being totally quick sand. Very much so. I've watched a couple people lose shoes right there. Um, you know, I almost lost a shoe. So, but, uh, you know, luckily I you're just... You're back, kinda, but you're back. back. Now, what's the future of the event? Future of the event is um, right after this event, they went down to Georgia right. um, to hold one there. They, it is coming back to Maryland. Um, they're not sure where it's going to be or when it's going to be yet. But it's probably a full year. It in is going to be events. a full year, yeah. But there were about 800 folks there? 800 at least. All at right. least. They did different waves. Dave, but good. Uh, mudchasers.com. All right. Mudchasers.com. Appreciate you being on with us again. Appreciate you. Sign on. up for the weekly press box. He cleans up well. The press box weekly email newsletter with the latest Baltimore sports information presented by our friends at Toyota. Just go to pressboxonline.com and submit your email address today.